Twice in a row. Twice. I will get it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cubone. My name is Quinton, and today we are playing Helldivers 2. Welcome to Helldivers Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> so, the recap for the last week. It has been a series of ups and downs I was really not ready for. I would like to start this video with a shout out to hd2galaxy.com. This is a website that has a live updating map of the Helldivers 2 galaxy, as the name implies. But let's go ahead and get started on the actual recap. So, last Tuesday we were tasked with defending Marfark through the onslaught of the new factory Striders, a bot type that felt unbeatable. Through Wednesday, we managed to hold back the assault on Marfark, securing the planet for liberty. This unfortunately came with the loss of a repeated point of difficulty for a prime. The bugs were beginning to rear their disgusting heads as a threat to democracy. By Thursday morning, not only was the Menkent line holding strong, but we'd blocked off the bot's advance on Marfark, keeping our recently established base on Vernon Wells secure. While we'd made incredible progress, our E710 reserves had started to run on empty. While High Command created a plan to deal with the crisis, divers didn't miss a beat, resecuring 4A Prime while the bugs were distracted, attacking Astanu. They clearly had no sense of strategy, both to replenish our reserves and repay the bugs for their cowardly takeover of Astanu, High Command ordered Helldivers to thin the herd. We were told to kill I, I still can't get over this number. We were told to kill 2 billion bugs, a hefty task that was estimated to take several days to complete. However, Helldivers once again showed their dedication to liberty, and by the end of the day, over 1.5 of the 2 billion had been killed. Our wonderful uh, bio, what is it, bio containment team? Something like that? I just wrote BCT and I thought I would remember. But our wonderful BCT were not prepared for this and rushed to keep up with the divers. We also gloriously retook Estanu and both Martel and Oshune had reached 85%. Overall, a very productive day that unfortunately did not last. Within 19 hours by Friday morning, the order had been completed. While we successfully took Oshune, immediately after, both Estanu and Oshune were thrown back under attack. At the same time, bots regrouped and staged attacks on Lasath, Marfark, and Karen Prime. This kicked off our new major order, I believe. That was the beginning of the major order. Our new major order was, of course, to defend 10 planets over the course of 5 days days and the last time that we had a defense mission or a defense major order rather was to defend five planets and as i remember that major order did not go well this cowardly almost seeming to be coordinated attack if the idea wasn't treasonous left divers spread thin and high command in their wisdom of course informed us how to proceed leading us to that major order to defend 10 planets while I have boundless trust in my fellow troops, I, I do remember how badly we did fail the previous defense major order. Most importantly was Lasath, as losing it gave the bots direct access to Vernon Wells, our current base of operations. However, many divers chose to focus on Martal, as according to Fleet Commander Joel, liberating Martal would stop the defense on Karen Prime. On Saturday, divers' efforts to hold Astanu paid off, choosing to reinforce Oshune once Istanu was secure. Despite their fortitude, however, Oshune only made it to almost 97% before time was up, meaning we lost a very important foothold. Meanwhile, our focus on the bugs left the bot front short on reinforcements. The Menkent line was broken through Lasath, opening a path to our base on Vernon Wells. Additionally, Markarth, uh, pardon me, Marfark, I did it last time too. Marfark was lost, so we must watch for a flank through Acer Pass. A Seer Pass? I'm not certain. The most demoralizing hit, however, was in Martal. The plan to cut off Karen Prime failed as Martal reached only 94% before the defenses were lost. The fight never ends though, as by the end of Saturday, attacks had been launched on Astanu and Fori Prime, bringing us back to the linchpin of the Draco Sector. Far more dreadfully, though, were the bot's attacks on Maisa and especially Vernon Wells. This led to the destruction of a long-ranged array, causing certain divers to receive false progress and liberation data. Unfortunately, by Tuesday morning, the MO was not going well, as though we had cleared yet another defense of Astanu, the majority of divers had deployed to Oshune. With 41,000 there, only 21,000 at the defense of Menkent, 9,000 at Chiopesa 4, 
and 3,000 at Charbel 7. We'd need roughly 250% more Helldivers on Menken to succeed any of the defense campaigns. And unfortunately, we did not manage to get that support, and as those defenses came to an end, we lost all, I believe, four planets? Uh, three. Uh, we lost all three planets. Finally, as of the time of this stream, Estanu and Mort are our current defense missions. Estanu obviously on the bug front, and Mort on the bot front. We have completed four out of ten defense missions for our major order, and we have just under two days to complete it. And yet, when I wrote these notes, 45,000 of us were on Oshun. 29,000 were on Vernon Wells, while 26,000 and 16,000 were on the defense planets respectively. So, while we are making significant progress, we need to coordinate. If we want to finish Oshune, fine. We need more people there so we can move on to Astanu as quickly as possible. However, people did move to Astanu, so no harm done there. Vernon Wells can wait. There are currently still 20,000 divers on Vernon Wells. It's only at 69.9% at the moment. We are not going to complete it for another estimated 13 hours. More importantly, we should move to Mort, get that done as quickly as possible so that another defense campaign can begin so we can get more progress on the Major Order. The Major Order has shown us that we are woefully uncoordinated, and if we don't do something about that, the bugs will continue breeding out of control, and the bots will only take more of our rightfully controlled planets. Vernon Wells is important. I understand. I agree. I certainly want to hold it. It's a very fun planet to play at the bare minimum. However, Mort is in the Tsar Sector, and if I'm not mistaken, the Tsar Sector has held out for this entire time since the Reclamation began, and now we are at risk of losing it. I have no doubt that we will succeed at bare minimum either Astanu or Mort. Most likely, we will only succeed one, because that tends to be what happens. However, if we can move some troops from Vernon Wells to Mort, and move some troops from Oshune to Astanu, or vice versa, move some from Astanu to Oshune so we can quickly reclaim it, and then everybody can go back to Astanu. These are the kind of things that we need to be ready to do, and enough divers are not doing it. We need to find some way to coordinate. Whether it be through the Reddit, whether it be through channels like my own, or through Stylosa, these kind of things will help us win this war. This is a special report from Wednesday morning. Now, normally my news only goes up to Tuesday every week. However, I would like to make an update. As I said in the stream that we were struggling very heavily in the defense campaigns. However, the divers did surprise me. As of Wednesday morning, not only had we cleared Oshune, but we have also cleared the defense campaigns on Astanu and Mort, leaving us at 6 out of 10 total planets. We have begun new defense campaigns on Oshune once again, and Virilia 5 on the bot front. It appears that the bots are taking a different approach, as we have kept them out of the Tsar sector, so they are attempting to flank through the Trigon sector. These two new defense campaigns are going very well already, with an estimated 9 hours until we can complete the Oshune defense. And while it is an estimated 1 day until we can complete the Virilia 5 defense, if we can get more divers onto that planet, as I have no doubt that we will later in the day, that will bring us to a total of 8 out of 10 planets, with more than a full day left to go in the Major Order. I stand corrected as of what I spoke yesterday. It seems we might actually have a chance. Good luck, Helldivers. But that is all I have for my recap of the week today. We're going to take a short intermission while I get out of this uh, shirt that I got with the Spider-Man logo. It's very nice. And then we will return with our gameplay section of the stream. I'll see you all in a moment. And let me switch back to the stinger and we... <laughs>